Is Alonso? Yeah. Oh, it's a screamer! Marcus Alonso! Yeah. At the double! That's why he's there too! Oh. Oh. Welcome to Stamford Bridge! Morata, can he do it again? Yes, he can! Chelsea might be round the back here! Oh. Oh. And there you go, you've re-seen the entire season so far in 30 seconds there. We've now got a mad October, Jason Cundy. Six games in 17 days. Indeed. If we look back at last year, 11 goals scored, none conceded in October. That first game was after the defeat against Arsenal. Uh, and the first time we started with three at the back against Hull, Costa and Williams scored two very similar goals. And that was the beginning of us winning the title last season. So uh, if we can replicate that, then we're in for a great October. Right, so what are we re-seeing today? Let's start, shall we, at Cobham. Here's the fun that the non-internationals have been up to while the proper players are away. Do you like skills? Like skills. Want to see some skills? Want to see some skills. Let's see Joe Edwards with some skills. Look at this, on the run. Yeah, it's, it looks a bit weird doing it. It's actually quite difficult to do, but he's, got, he's in the groove there and he's got the ball spinning back towards him and then he just lets it go. Bit of a funny one, bit gumpish. If you ask me. Yeah, but not as good as Jody Morris. Any excuse? Let's have another oh, look at that yeah. from last year. Yeah. Boom. Best skill ever. Jacob Maddox had the chance to train with the first team while the internationals were all away and he did this to Kylian Hazard, the third of the three brothers. Oh, oh he's trying to shut them as well, he knows, look at, his, uh, look at his head, watch. No! Now, many of you out there will know what a keen tweet is. Jason doesn't get very many of them uh, from fans because he hasn't got any. Uh, Frank Lampard, though, uh, has been getting involved in a bit of that. Have a look at this. Hi, I'm Frank Lampard. I saw Didier's keen tweets recently, uh, enjoyed it, so I thought I'll give it a go. My Frank Lampard poster has been on my wall for almost 10 years. I'm so proud. Great, again, I'm still there on the wall, hopefully, not been budged by Eden Hazard yet. It's good for the confidence. Uh, I love Lampard more than my nephews. Apologies to the nephews. Frank <laughs> Lampard, I wish he was my dad. I don't know what to say to that, thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what to say. <laughs> thanks, Chelsea fans, that was all really nice. Did you, did you edit all the bad ones? I can't believe it, Ben. Look, look. Frank read out my tweet. Isn't that sweet? Let's move on to the Chelsea ladies now. We brought you both legs of their last 32 Champions League tie with Bayern Munich live on Chelsea TV. The second one was ridiculous, especially the last 15 minutes. Frank Kirby's away goal, though, Jason. Brilliant. That's what basically has gotten them through in the end. Do you know what? This, this is such a good finish because she knows from here that she should score. It's all about the first so she's touch. got five, that, ten seconds got, to think yes, about it. Yes. The first touch isn't so great. The second touch isn't the best. But my God, what a finish that is. Bent it away from the goalkeeper. Brilliant. Really brilliant finish. And uh, you can see what it means to those girls. They were, they were fantastic. I mean, at the end... It did feel a little bit like if there had been another 10, 15 minutes, they may well have conceded yeah. that third goal, but congratulations to them. What, what a performance. That meant Bayern needed three. They got one, then they got another one. The end was ridiculous. Yeah. Everyone lost their heads on both sides. There were players on the field, off yeah. the field, slice clearances, yes. a penalty that probably should have been given that wasn't, a push, a push and an offside God, yeah. goal, and then yeah. Yeah. six minutes of added time. But in the end, they are through for the last 16. They've never been beyond that. The draw is coming up next week. Just not Wolfsburg again. We leave away in Bayern Munich now mm. in the Champions League. Where does that mm. sound familiar? Bayern in tears, yeah. Mm. OK, what's it time for now, Jason? It's time for International Roundup. Why am I doing that voice? Well done, everyone. Full house. Chelsea boys in Russia next summer. England will be going. The Belgians, the Spanish. The Germans, the Nigerians, the French and the Brazilians. The only question mark concerns Andreas Christensen. Denmark grabbed second place in their group. They have a playoff to come next month. Two really big legs for Andreas there.
on to two more big legs. Didier Drogba specifically. <laughs> uh, here's an interesting goal for the team he plays for. Owns, runs. Brown, oh. his name is Brown. At, uh, He's had a stinker. That he... Didier's almost, almost embarrassed to to celebrate that, but he's, uh, he's had gifts from goalkeepers in the past, of course. David James, thank you very much for that one. And, and then Aurelia Gomez. Yeah. But if you don't buy a raffle ticket, yeah. as Tommy always says. He was stuck with a bit of pace, but really straight at him, he should say that, shouldn't he? And of course, it's Palace away this weekend. We're mm. going to get to that more in a minute. Didier Drogba scored his first Chelsea goal away at Palace. Great cross, great header, his first Chelsea goal. Our trivia quiz for you this week, answers down here please, who also scored his first Chelsea goal in that same game at Selhurst Park. And on the subject of trivia, Jason? Yes, last week we asked you, Roy Hodgson's last game he managed against Chelsea was what? And what were the implications? Of course we take on them this weekend, but the implications were, we won yeah. the Champions League, <laughs> AVB got sacked, um, and I don't know what the well, no, that's more than enough. I mean, that's, that's big enough implications, let's be honest. Yes, Gareth McCauley, 1 0, West Brom away the last time we played. They always seem to beat us back then, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. It was Robbie Di Matteo's yeah. last Premier League game in charge as well before the Juventus thing happened. Um, and lots of you got the answer right. The fastest three responders were Katie Haberlin, Ranjib Thakur, and Lausen Naulak. Apologies if I said any or all of them incorrectly. So, Jason. Palace it is then. Mm -hmm. No points, no goals, no chance. And no Loftus Cheek as well, of course. His parents. No club. strikers, yeah. No strikers, yeah. They are in a bit of a mess. Um, but you get the feeling that Hodgson has had enough time to work with them defensively and make them more sound, to make them more organised and disciplined. So I think they'll be better. The problem they've got, of course, as it has been all season, is scoring goals. Um, I'll take three points. I don't mind if they score against us as long as we win and take three points because of what happened against City. Don't forget, Antonio Conte has never lost back-to-back -back games. In fact, every game that he has lost as Chelsea manager, the next game he has gone on to win. So that is a good omen. Scoring goals not a problem for Chelsea at all, with or without Alvaro Morata. Eden Hazard, who once scored a very famous goal against Crystal Palace to seal the title, is the subject of the bet this week from our betting partners, William Hill. He was 6-5 to five to score in a Chelsea win, but you can get enhanced odds of 6-4 to four on that. Just a quick one from the archive before we go. Lovely goal this from a couple of seasons back. Jason Fabregas at Palace in a bad tempo game that finished 10v10. Yeah. What football that It was indeed, wasn't it? One, twos all on the edge of their box. Carved them open. Lovely finish from Fabregas. And the way that he used his eyes to bend it around Hennessy. Um, let's hope we've done more of that at the weekend. Last season was a scrappy 1-0 just before Christmas when Chelsea couldn't stop winning and kept on keeping clean sheets. And there was something that you spotted, Jason. Aspilicueta doing this cross again. Indeed. It's that cross that we've come to see already. Alvaro Mata has, has benefited from it. Yeah, Chelsea win with a clean sheet. You're not going to get great odds on that, but maybe your, your Hazard bet is one to go with. Uh, that's just about it from us. It is pretty much time to... What are you doing? Time to raid the palace. I'm just, uh, just tweeting Frank. Tim. Bye.